Guess what, boy? What? Your brother's gonna come in one more week. <laughs> we are one week away from meeting Nato, and uh, I figured I would document what's going on the final week before baby number two comes. Uh, so far, I had double checked and repacked my hospital bag. I am in the process of packing Ginevra's bag today. My back is killing me today and I'm tired. So I actually ended up taking like an hour nap in the afternoon. Uh, the baby's getting really heavy. And so, and I'm not sleeping very well at night. So that's why I need my naps. Nelson is mad cleaning. He is tidying up the hallway so that we can set up another area at the front to move like right basically right in front of our bedroom so that the boys can stay there uh especially since it's getting colder now and the boys are getting older we've been having kiwi sleep up in our room but tofu has been sleeping downstairs in his usual bed i think he'd be happier if he also slept up here with us we don't want them in the bedroom in case they start barking middle of the night and i don't want to, uh, him to like them to wake up the new baby. Right now, I am doing laundry. I had to finish up packing up Ginevra's little suitcase for her stay with my mom. The stressful thing is we don't even know if the school's going to happen right now because of the fact of the QB strike of 2019. I guess we find out tomorrow morning whether or not the strike is going to happen. I should probably check the news. I checked it this afternoon and I didn't see anything. So we're gonna have to check it again. I have to be prepared in case she does go to school, have all of her lunch things ready, all of her, her favorite snacks that I know she's going to be willing to eat. Yeah, so I still have a lot of packing to do this week plus a bunch of other to-do things. So yeah, let's just get poop done. Try not to cry while doing this. Ginevra's bags are now packed and she's so excited and I'm really glad for that. Just, I don't know. I want to miss her so much. <laughs> I packed her for seven days just in case anything happens. I'm sure everything will be fine. But, um, because I believe they said that for a C-section, count on three to five days of being in the hospital. I don't remember last time. I think last time it was really five days or so. But, uh, so we'll see. And I don't even know if she's coming back the same day we're going to be back or if she's going to spend one more night while we transition to having Nato at home with us. All I know is just I'm going to miss her a lot but she's excited which is good and i just have to stay really excited really positive because if not she's going to feel it and then she's going to be scared and she's going to feed off my energy so i need to be tough mama that tough it out yeah she helped me pack i let her help me pack because i wanted her to know the clothes she's getting really picky about clothes i should do a video one day of seven days of letting her wear whatever she wants to wear to school i think it'd be really interesting because she tells me that sometimes the things i pick up for her they don't match I think my daughter probably has better fashion sense than I do. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to go have dinner now because Mama's starving and Daddy cooked today. So, I'm excited. So, good night from day one. Welcome to six days before the baby comes. And it's fairly uneventful day, actually, today. I was feeling really, really tired. And so, I ended up taking like two naps and having to lie down just because I was in pain. We are just doing a little bit of last minute cleaning. Probably will just, that'll be our routine until Nato actually makes the arrival on Sunday. Tomorrow I do have an OB appointment and um, we'll find out what's going on and also get his growth, final growth status before the actual Mama. cesarean. Yes, baby. I need to move her bowl, but quickly. We made basmati rice yeah. for the first time. Yum. So we're still on day five right now before the baby's born and things are good. It was a really productive day actually. We ended up baking some Pillsbury flaky rolls and lemon pound cake cupcakes. And then we're just going to make some froth, no, some glazing. And that's gonna be our dessert. We also took Ginevra out for a walk today. We figured it's probably be one of the last times we'll be able to get her out before it gets too cold. And well, it'll probably be the last time before that I can go out since I'll have the baby and then I need to stay at home for a little while. So, but I'm glad I went. It was really nice. It was a nice walk. I did a bunch of batch shooting today. Oh, and today, Monkey from school, she got a praise and practice. So she was praised for being creative and at home she needs to practice participating more, which she actually doesn't have much of a problem doing at home. It's just everywhere else. 
So if you have any suggestions on how to get her to participate more outside of her home, outside of her comfort zone, let me know in the box below. Let, give me a comment because I don't know what to do. See you tomorrow. Is it yummy? Super <laughs> yummy. Good job. So because I'm going on leave, one of the ongoing office jokes is that our team is going to go a little crazy. And so it would help if they were able to talk to some representation of me. <laughs> and because they're in a secluded room, I'm going to leave this in my chair. <laughs> That's really funny. And where'd you get this from, Boo? And this is the official volleyball called Wilson that Tom Hanks talks to in Castaway. So I'm altering this face because he obviously has some of my hair to include glasses. With a oh, Sharpie. With a Sharpie. And add in my name instead of Wilson. <laughs> I love it. It's actually probably around 10 p.m. now. Oh my god. Ignore the background. But um, oh, I had the worst night's sleep last night and I was up from 12-ish until about 4 a.m. and then my alarm goes off at 5.45 so I was pretty spent for the day. I've just got a bunch of odds and ends done, some banking stuff. Just trying to really play catch up and I have this like underlying constant need to feel like I need to do something special for Ginevra before I go to the hospital. I don't know why. Like yesterday we baked two different things and then today I reorganized, well tried to reorganize um, a bunch of her clothes in her room. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's such a goofball. Okay, so now because I'm wide awake again, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to finish cleaning up the area by the bed and move the bassinet closer to us so that I can hear. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We just dropped off Ginevra to school and it's been going well with her walking. I mean, she tends to be a little bit clingier when Nelson's around, <laughs> which is fine. But, um, oh my gosh, the drive was so scenic today. There's just one stretch along the, the path that I absolutely love. It's so picturesque and I absolutely love it. Every morning I'm just like, oh, so beautiful to see. Today, it's a somewhat busy day, but I'm going to enjoy having the house to myself for the last time <laughs> before Nelson's on pat leave because today's Nelson's last day in office. He's working from home tomorrow, but he doesn't need to go in tomorrow. So today's his last day in office. Ginevra's out of the house. Everyone's out of the house. And it's just, I have a quiet morning, which is something I am going to miss for a while, but that's okay. I mean, I love having the house full too. It's just having quiet every now and then is nice. Apparently we won a $25 voucher from Eastside Mario for a post that I posted on my Instagram account because they were running a contest. I didn't think I was gonna win, but like, yay, we won. So I was like, oh, shocking, that's pretty cool. So let's get this day started. Packages here, and I, I'm pretty sure I know who they're from. I think it's from my sister who lives in San Jose. Well, God sister, and so I'm really excited. I don't know what it is. This one's kind of squishy, and that one's rattling. So I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Look at him go! Oh my God. Kiki, 
see my VA. Whoa. All right, baby brother. Two more days. You're gonna come back. Yeah. Are you excited? What's the first thing you gonna do with your baby brother? I don't know. What if it's drool? <laughs> Let's go down for breakfast. Let's go. It's school time. Oh, wait. I want to do something. That's so sweet. Thank you, Mumui. Hey, wait, were you wiping your boogers on there, baby brother? No, I was just kissing the mayos. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go downstairs. Breakfast time. Two days. And I can't get my own socks on. Uh, thanks, baby. <laughs> what day is today? Sunday. It's not Sunday. It's Friday. Friday. Going to school? Yeah. And then what happened tomorrow? All right, let's go to school. Going for blood work now. Yay. But I always look forward to doing it first thing in the morning. So why am I closing my eyes? Because, open your eyes. I see more. There. <gasps> Ooh, oh my gosh, how cute is this? I even got this. <gasps> Whoa. Which I ever wanted. You've always wanted? Yeah. What's this? A peacock. That's a peacock, it's not a turkey? A turkey. Can you hold it up? That's <laughs> so cute. Ooh, counting feathers. Wow, you're thankful for Bethany? What is that, Mui? A tattoo. <laughs> Feel the baby hiccup in? Alright, Tofu, say bye to mommy. Be a good boy. Good for grandpa. Okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, Dola. Weakers, come. Kiwi. Do, 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 do. Do say bye to me. Say bye, mommy. Say bye to your brother. Say see you soon. See you soon. Oh. Tell Wala. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dola. Okay? Does Sky have earmuffs? No. Are you tucking Sky in? Good night. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. Good night, Papa. Oh, sure. Did you tell? Ta -ta -ta so what are you doing? Trying to find out all the Medela breast pump parts. Ah. And a double deck steamer on our bed. Yep. Makes sense. This is the peach cobbler I made for Ginevra's tea party, and Dad mixed it with pistachio ice cream. Interesting. I don't know if I love it, but it's good. Mostly pistachio ice cream, not sweet at all. It's just nutty. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, crushed peanuts on McDonald's Sunday. Yeah. It's not bad. After this, we're, well, we're watching a show, and then we're going to unwind and sleep and oh, get ready for no. one day. One day till Nato comes. We call him by his English name. He doesn't we're have an English name. We're never going to call him by his real name. We'll only ever call him Nato. <laughs> one more day. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Tomorrow at this time, I will have my son in my arms. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Uh, I had a decent sleep last night, actually. My, some reason, my Bluetooth hooked up to my wireless Bluetooth speaker slash lamp, the, the light of tree that Nelson surprised me with during Prime Day. And my alarm clock was amplified by like 5 million. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I super woke up. So yeah, one more day. So we're tying up loose ends today. We're tidying up the kitchen, tidying up the house. Uh, meeting up with my mom for lunch so that we she can take Ginevra. Nelson needs to go buy a new phone case because his phone case actually fell completely apart. And I just have to do like some banking, I think. Because everything else is packed. So, yeah. And then we have to go to bed early because because I think I have to be up at like 
4.30 a.m. to get to the hospital by 6. Yeah. So it's going to be an early night tonight. So yay, wish us luck! Where are you going? To Papa's house. No, I'm going to miss you. I want to miss you super duper much. Hey guys, welcome back to Basics. Who's that? Where this week we're taking a look at pizza. Babish. Not only is it the very lifeblood. You gotta watch Babish and Dada's car. It is the very lifeblood of New Yorkers and Hindu pro guys. Is it magic? Anything that could be delivered mm -hmm. through that. Is that cool, guys? Yeah. I have, I have a TV. Yeah. There's a TV in Daddy's car now. I'm trying to find nipple cream. As I realized while watching my hospital bag video, I forgot to pack it. And last time I needed it. The other thing we need to get is still our angel carriage hut. I've been trying to order it online for like two weeks now because we got a $50 credit, but their website is like kapunk and I'm giving birth tomorrow. So I need to get it now. So, just dropped Geneva off with my mom. Uh, we had lunch together and oh my god, I was a blubbering mess. Like, absolute blubbering mess. I figured I'd be pretty emotional. I mean, I'm already pretty hormonal to begin with and anything can just kind of set me off to crying. But I wanted to... I'm crying. I'm seeing her tomorrow for Pete's sakes. I don't know why I'm so... I'm crying so much. But it's okay. It was really sweet. She kept stroking my hair because it was in the parking lot and I held her up. And she kept stroking my hair and saying, it's okay, mommy. It's okay, mommy. <sighs> yeah. I'm now in another parking lot. She actually just two cars down with in, in my mom's car. Um, mom's going to buy some chicken because uh, part of the healing process for in, in our culture is that you have like steamed chicken I think for 10 days after the baby's born and so mom's gonna get some chicken and uh, prepare that for me to promote speedy healing which is good uh, <laughs> and so daddy's sitting in that car with them keeping the kids company and then I'm just sitting here because it's hard for me to get up and down from a van right now I'm so big oh my god it's around three o'clock in the afternoon and so by the time we get home it'll probably be closer to about four or four thirty or so and then I just have a little bit more work I want to get done change the bed sheets just lose odds and ends and then we have to go to bed really early tonight because we're up at like four tomorrow yeah I'm excited I'm nervous and excited it'll be good I'm also really nauseous today I think it's just the nerves more so than anything I think it's just the nerves but I know that my OB is the one who's gonna be performing the c-section I trust him I yeah so it'll be fine actually my girlfriend just had her baby it's so crazy like our children are like our sons are six days apart it's crazy so looking forward to meeting him and seeing her I haven't seen them in in this a month now, I think. Guess what daddy's doing, Nato? He's washing the car so you have a nice fancy clean car to come home in. At least that's what he's telling himself. <laughs> it is pretty much all ready. It's about 9 p.m. and we're finished dinner. Nelson's just tidying up the dishes and then I'm resting my back and we're going to bed. I have all of my alarms set so I really need to go to bed soon and yeah then tomorrow's the big day he's pushing pretty hard right now too ooh, ooh, ooh. something's here I feel like it's his butt it feels like his bum that's my boy so basically in the morning we go we go through emergency and we go up to the fourth floor to I guess get settled in for our C-section starting at 8 a.m. So by this time tomorrow night, I'll be holding my son in my arms. All right, good night. 
and see you in the morning super early super duper early in the morning oh my god I can't believe tomorrow's a big day it's crazy I'm a little scared just a little but it'll be okay that's fine last time and last time it was like much worse this time it should be a lot safer Yep. All right. Good night, guys. Mama, I love you.